Every now and then, it's my pleasure to bring you folks some good news on the heels of bad news. After a harrowing 36 hours or so after a malfunction was detected aboard the new Cygnus XL resupply craft, both NASA and Northrop Grumman were able to bounce back. After rebooting essentially the software on board the spacecraft, this appears to have been created not by a hard hardware issue and not by a failure with the engine, but rather just a failure with the onboard computers of the Cygnus, NASA and Northrop managed to get this thing going again and began an updated series of burns to rendezvous with the International Space Station. And just a few minutes ago, I had the opportunity to see all of this happen live on NASA TV, and I actually freehand shot most of this so that I could at least bring you some of the footage and some of the drama of what just played out of our heads in low Earth orbit. And I must say, NASA and Northrop Grumman managed to pull this off flawlessly. The Cygnus XL is now docked with the International Space Station, having achieved a new record, delivering nearly five metric tons of pressurized cargo to the International Space Station, by far a record over virtually every other type of resupply solution over the years, although the shuttle was definitely capable of delivering larger amounts of cargo to the International Space Station. This was definitely the largest cargo delivered by a robotic system. Indeed, it would have taken two SpaceX Cargo Dragon missions to deliver the same amount of cargo. So, after things were looking very grim for this spacecraft, both NASA and Northrop managed to pull this off. And all also, I have to admit, this had a personal satisfaction for me, personal sense of relief, shall we say, because this spacecraft was named after William McCool, one of the astronauts lost aboard the Columbia 20 years ago, something that would have been very tragic indeed to repeat with another failed mission. It is very, very satisfying to see NASA and Northrop pull this off and deliver their cargo safely to the ISS after a Herculean effort to make this happen. Well done, folks.